one of my favorite uh, sections of the book was he, uh, he, he said he recommended to one of his tennis students who was struggling, he said, you know, today, why don't you pretend to be somebody else? You know, you're not yourself anymore. So pretend to be, you know, the greatest tennis player on earth. And whoever it was at the time, you know, Bjorn Borg or John McEnroe or whoever. And, and, um, and so I read that and I was like, oh, that's a great idea. And I was struggling at the time. I was kind of early in my career. And uh, I, I think I told you this story. Yeah, you did. It's great. <laughs> I go to practice. And I go, you know what? Today I'm going to be Jeff Hornis, kind of like my size and, and, and speed, but way better than me, you know? And he had all these great like flip shots and he just looked like he got out of his own way where I was always in my own way, you know? And so I went to practice um, one day and I said, I'm going to be Jeff Hornis today. And I had by far my best practice of the year. I'm making all these shots. I'm like feeling the flow and it's so beautiful. And I'm like, this is incredible. And then I stop and I go, how pathetic is that? I had to act like somebody else to be the best version of me. It makes no sense, but that's what the book is about. It's like, how can we sort of, you know, create these, uh, these different thoughts and feelings to get the best out of ourselves? Because we, we all kind of get in our own way. In, in, you know, in life.